Hi friends, I'm Jen. Welcome to Be Set Free. I wanted to make a video today to help you with your children and to get them to calm down, um, to stop fighting, to focus, and to do what you want them to do easily. And I want to teach you um, how to do that and then how to handle it when they don't do it using this technique, okay? So um, what happened in my situation, and maybe this is happening with you too, which is why I want to make this video, is there was a lot of chaos in my kids because of all the stress um, that they're dealing with with the situation at home um, regarding abuse, regarding um, the stress in the home, regarding the chaos around them, right? Um, no matter how hard we try to focus on our children, when we're dealing with abuse, and they, they are too, um, it's just going to be this stress, this chaos is going to be reflected in them. It's there no matter how hard you try to shelter them from it. They will filter it and they will be insecure. Um, a lot of stress and chaos that comes out of kids is they're searching for boundaries. They're searching for identity. They're not getting enough um, emotional support. They're not being taught enough. And that's a lot of times because we don't, we're not even realizing it. We don't, we can't teach what we don't give. What we, we can't teach what we don't already own in ourselves. We can't give it. Does that make sense? So we don't even know we're missing it. So anyways, I wanted to give you some techniques to use with your kids to help them feel very safe, very in control of themselves, very much understanding their environment, <clears throat> very much knowing where the boundaries are. In my situation, um, I had a child and sometimes um, I have three children at home and two of them would fight a lot and one of them would have like five hour temper tantrums every day. Um, I had no idea what was going on with her. It started when she was two and it just went on and on and on throughout the year. School started and she wasn't doing it at school. Thank goodness for the teacher. <laughs> I was so scared. But then she'd come home and just the temper tantrum would start and it would be it would be a level 10, okay? Um, a lot of you are dealing with children at home. Maybe they come back from the other parent's house and they are just angry, crazy, disrespectful. Um, they're chaotic. Sometimes um, some of you are just, your kids have always been like that or they're doing it now and you need help. So I understand. And I'd like to give you um, a technique. So what we do a lot to our kids is we say no, right? And we should. They get a yes or a no. That's our right as a parent, and they need to learn how to accept a no and respect that. But a lot of times um, we say no way too much. And what happens is, is the child doesn't understand what, why, first off, even if you tell them. And secondly, they don't understand that why, like how they can get a yes. Because there's a way to give them a yes, and they deserve a yes a lot of times instead of us just saying no. I noticed I said no a lot because I was caught up in my mind as to 50 million things I had to do, right? I was caught up in my mind of, I can't afford that. No, we can't do that. No, we don't have time for that. No, you can't have that. That's candy. We just hate candy. No, no, um, no. The answer is no, no, <laughs> right? So what I learned, what I was, what was taught to me was to start saying yes instead of no, but do it this way. So let's say your child comes to you and says, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and they say, hey mom, can I have a popsicle? The obvious answer is no. But instead of saying no, say, yeah, you can have a popsicle. So after lunch today, um, you can have your popsicle. During lunch, I would like you to eat some carrots and then I'd be happy to give you your popsicle. What flavor do you think you're gonna want? So you offer the popsicle, instead of saying no, and then that's the end of the discussion and usually they'll throw a fit right there, you say yes, yes you can, yes you can. 
after lunch and during lunch I want you to eat carrots because you get them to do something good for themselves they earn it they feel good about that and they get the reward they get the popsicle do you see that's so self-esteem building and instead of just shutting them down and what they want you work with them okay they're gonna love that um, another thing but I want or if they say but I want it right now but I want it right now and say remember I said that yes you can have it okay and you can have that after lunch and you're gonna eat some carrots and then we'll both have a popsicle together but I want it now okay well here's the deal if you keep on with that right now then after lunch even if you eat your carrots or you don't you're definitely not getting a popsicle don't you want a popsicle I want to give you a popsicle don't you want to eat a popsicle with mommy and it's gonna help okay <clears throat> um, what's another example your kids want and you say no how about hey mom can we have a sleepover tonight <laughs> and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and you just got home from work and you know your kids have been uh, not seeing their friends because of COVID um, and you have a safe friend that you guys play with. Instead of saying no because you're too tired, how about this? Don't say no. Mommy's too tired. I'm really sorry. We'll do it another time. Don't say that. Guess what, buddy? Yes, we can have a sleepover tomorrow night, okay? But here's the deal. Here's the deal. And then you list out what you want them to do. Maybe they've been having a really hard time cleaning their room. And you say, look, you can have that sleepover tomorrow. The answer is yeah. Tonight, I need you to clean your room. Okay, I'll help you. I'll be there with you and I'll help you. Or if they're older, just tell them to go clean their room and they can have their sleepover tomorrow night. Okay, if they, um, usually that'll work. Okay, but I want to give you examples so you're not just stuck on yes, yes, yes. How do I say no? Now they're not, now they need a no. How do I say no? You just keep saying yes but you give them consequences for their behavior look if you continue you know being upset tonight because you can't have the sleepover tonight then you're not going to be able to have it tomorrow and i really want to, you to have a sleepover i said yes you can okay and you can even you know have them sympathize with you have them understand where you're coming from it's okay to explain to your kids look i've been working today and um I'm not feeling emotionally ready. I'm not feeling energetically ready. Um, I want to be sure to get you some good things to eat tomorrow. So when your friend comes over and spends the night, we have treats. I want to make it a fun time. And tonight's just, um, it's not going to work. And if you keep on fighting me about it, then we're not going to be able to do it tomorrow night either. Okay. So what do you want to have a sleepover? Okay. Then yes, yes. Just go clean your room, okay? Clean your room tonight, be sure to do that. And then I'll be sure to go get that yummy food. Do you understand? See, it's negotiating, but it's, it's instead of saying no, you're turning the no into a yes, you're making an opportunity where maybe you would have just shut down before. And once you start doing this, you're gonna notice how much you really have been saying no to them where you could have been saying yes. They're gonna notice too. They're going to start to be super stoked because instead of getting no all the time and just being shut down and shut out, all of a sudden their world is going to start opening up. All of a sudden your parenting world is going to start opening up and you're going to start seeing more opportunities and wow, actually this is awesome. Actually I've been in no land and now I've come up with creative ways to make this whole thing work, right? It could work at dinner time. Hey mom, can we have ice cream after dinner? <laughs> I keep putting food exam. Our, our family's big on food <laughs> and treats, I guess. I keep giving food examples. Um, hey mom, can are we having ice cream after dinner tonight? No, nope, we're not. Oh, great, ah, throw fit, right? <laughs> Cause you always say no. Okay, well, yeah, actually, I do have ice cream. We can have we can have ice cream after dinner. You know, I ha I made broccoli with dinner tonight. I made salad. I made steak. I made mashed potatoes. So with dinner tonight, um, I would like you to please eat three broccolis and two forks of salad. Okay, and then yes, 
We're having ice cream. Woohoo! See, do that. Where before they wouldn't eat any broccolis and maybe give you an attitude about the salad that you're trying to at least force them to eat some lettuce. Now they get to eat, now they get to, right? Because they get to have the ice cream. The answer was yes. All right? The, and like I said, if they give you any attitude about it, you tell them, wow, I was so excited for you to have ice cream. I guess you don't want to, you know, you're not eating your veggies, so bummer. I really was so excited to say yes to you, right? Because then they can see that they made the choice. It's not, you already said yes. It's them shutting themselves down. Yeah, sure, they may go throw a fit. Okay, so this is the other part. Sometimes you have a child 